Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is your friendly neighborhood man here, and today we're going to be talking about the if statement in Windows Batch Scripting. So the if statement is a crucial component of any programming language whatsoever. It allows you to compare two or more things and run one block of code if the statement returns true, or run another block of code if the statement returns false. So the if statement in batch scripting is a little different from other programming language, but you know, you know, you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. So let's get started. So if you remember from my last tutorial, we learned how to set variables. So I'm just going to set two variables to compare to begin with. So set x equal to 1, and I'm going to set y equal to 1 also. So we, I want to check if these two variables are equal to each other, and we do this using the if statement. So the if statement works as follows. First if, and then what we want to compare, so percent %x%, percent, so we are referencing our variable x. So if the value of x, which is 1, is equal to percent %y%, percent, so 1 also, because you're referencing our variable y, then after this is what we want to happen. Also, just something to note, whenever you are comparing stuff, make sure to use the double equals, because if you're just using a single equals, it's like saying if we set x to y or something like that, and that's going to produce an error, and we don't want that, of course. So after this, we want to write what we want to happen. So I'm just going to echo out everything worked! Exclamation point. And finally, pause so we can read if anything has been written out to the screen. So I'm just going to save and open this up. And everything works, so 1 is equal to 1, and I can just press any key. But say 1 is not equal to 1, so x is not equal to y. Let's save this, open it up. All I get is press any, any key to continue, because this did not return true. Now here's what we're going to do if, say, there's the statement returns false. So, we, um, I know else statements are usually used in other programming language, and... There might be usage of else statements in batch files. I have not been able to get it to work correctly, and I've tried multiple times. Uh, if any of you know of a way to get else statements to work, or the way they should be correctly used, please leave a comment below. But other than that, I like to use goto statements in conjunction with my if statements. So first, I should introduce you what a goto statement actually is. So goto works as this. Goto, and then your label name. So go to statements allow you to jump to any point in your script forwards or backwards. So we set a label by using a semicolon, then the name of the label. So I'm just going to make this label name and label name. Fucking there we go. So basically when Windows command processor reaches go to label name, it'll just ignore any code down here and just jump straight to label name down here and start running the code under it. Now you can also jump backwards while I'll create an infinite loop unless you have some sort of condition. But also something to keep in mind is if you use a ton of go-to statements and they're not properly structured, it just can get very confusing and result in something called spaghetti code, which is pretty much just misuse of go-to statements and jumping everywhere in your script so it's very hard to follow your code. So just something to keep in mind when using go-to statements, make sure to have some sort of structure to your code. So getting back on to the topic of if statements, I'm just going to set this back up again. So if x is equal to y, go to, let's just make this label name. Bah. So I'm going to make my label down here, so label name. So if this returns true, we're going to skip any code down here and go right down here and run the code that we want to execute if this returns true. So we're going to print out x is equal to y exclamation point. Now I'm going to make another label here called n, so just n, and then pause. This is going to be used, you know, in the very near future. So down here is what I'm going to write if this statement returns false. So if we do not go to label name, we're going to just keep running our code like nothing happened. And this is where we're going to write down here. So echo out, x is not equal to y. Now I want to go to my label end. Because if we didn't have this, we just keep going down the line. So we go down here, see label name, ignore that. And then print out x is equal to y. So we print out x is not equal to y, then x is equal to y, which contradicts itself. And we don't want that. 
So we're going to print out x is not equal to y, then go to end, skip all this right here, jump to end, and pause so we can see what we've wrote on the screen. Now also something I should mention, you can go to EOF, which stands for end of file. So basically whenever you have this, you're just going to go bam into file and your program is going to close immediately. I like just having an end label to always go to with a pause command at the end so you can read anything that's been written out onto the screen. So I'm just going to change this back. Now I'm going to save this, open it up. X is not equal to Y because 1 is not equal to. And we press any key to continue. Now you can, you know, of course, switch this around a bit, you know, as you please. But you can also check if not and that sort of thing. So if not, I think that's how it works. X is equal to Y. So if this returns false, I think, let me think about this. So if not, Okay, so if x basically is not equal to y, go to label name, and then we run this. And if it does equal, we run this. So, you can just use if not, you know, structure your code a little better, but that's up to you how you use it. So, you can also check if files exist using the if statement. Now, this is a really cool, you know, little piece of functionality. So, use this by doing if exists, then the path to your file. So I'm just going to check if my test file right here, test.bat, so if exist, if I can get my directory correctly, so C, let's just see, computer, oh wait, no, hmm, bootcamp, desktop, yes, excellent. So I'm just going to copy my file directory here, slash test.bat. So if exists this file right here, then go to exists. Let's create a label exists down here. Then our end label, pause. And we're going to echo out the file exists exclamation point. So if this file exists, which it does, we're going to echo out the file exists. Now if it doesn't, we're just going to keep chugging down the line right here and the echo out. The file does not exist. And then we want to go to end so we don't print this out. Now let's just save this and open it up. The file exists. Great, so everything's working correctly. Now let's just put some sort of junk file in here, so junk.bat. I don't have a junk.bat file on my desktop, so this statement is going to return false, and we're just going to go down here and run this bit of code. So open up. the file does not exist. Now I can also do the same thing with directory, so desktop slash junk directory. And let's just change file to directory. Because I feel like wasting your time. Bam, close enough. Direct ori, whatever. So let's just save this. The directory does not exist. And I don't really have a directory. Hmm. Let's just see if not. Excellent. Yeah, I should probably save this. Directory exists. Now it really doesn't, so if not exists, so if this returned false, we run this and. Oh, it gets kind of confusing, but you can figure it out. So, anyways, if the directory did exist, it would return true if we wrote it like this. So, that is how you check for the existence of files and directories on your computer. So, that's about all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you want more stuff like this, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you next time.